Today, Kevin and I are going to be visiting Crumble Cookies for the first time. We've actually reviewed Crumble Cookies in the past, but we've never been in their storefront. So this was our first time in an actual store. Uh, so we are actually going to take you in and check it out. Uh, the reason I'm doing this voiceover on this part of the video is because my vlogging camera has decided that it's going to make a tinny noise, which you will hear in the rest of the video. And I just have to apologize for that. Uh, back here, you can see people working, making the cookies and the big mixers and where they're baking. And I'm just talking about all that. You see the board where um, it gives you prices and it tells you the cookies of the week. There are different cookies featured every single week at Crumble Cookies. And then this is a display board where they're showing you the actual example of what you will be getting in your box. So we have a Galaxy Brownie cookie and then we have a Kentucky Butter Cake and then we have a sugar cookie featuring Twix and a snickerdoodle cupcake, a pineapple whip, and the classic chocolate chip cookie, which we have previously reviewed. And then over here on the side, you have uh, some mini cookies. They're the same cookies, but they're mini. And the guy behind the counter told us that you only get those if you get... Um, uh, like catering, like if you have a wedding or something, a business lunch or something like that, you can get the little mini cookies, which I think, I think they should sell those to everybody. So I showed you these cookies in the store. So, and so I wanted to compare them like what they have on display compared to what we were given in our box. So we got a four pack and a one. They do have like a, a four and two that you can get at like a, a box yeah. that holds six. Yeah, six pack. And, uh, but this is how they look. They look exactly like what is uh, shown um, up front when you go in the door. So we're eating in the car. Um, our total, if you're wondering, it was $12.63 for the four pack and then the single box was $3.94. Uh, Kevin did leave a tip and so uh, the, the subtotal before the tip, was that correct? No. No, because they give Those you, four there's a service fee and there's a sales tax. That's interesting. I've never heard of a service don't fee. Don't know what the service fee would be. No, I don't know what the service fee is. The service fee is 99 cents and the sales tax 99 cents. I Any, paid with the tap to pay. I wonder if that's why. They charge me a dollar to tap. To tap to pay, maybe. I don't know. I don't We're know. guessing. So you can tell us if you know. Anyway, Kevin gave a tip of two forty eight. Our total was twenty one oh three. And you can choose to leave a tip or not. That's up to you. Yeah, you don't have to. Um, the people that waited on us, it was a guy and girl. I don't know what their names were. They were very, very nice. Um, I, I, I did ask, do you mind if I film? And he said, not at all. And then as I was filming, he said, do you mind if I ask you what you're filming for? <laughs> I, I well, because was, she was going through a description of everything. I was trying you to You were describe. talking through it, not just filming it. I wasn't just filming it for like a home video. Right. And uh, so I told him I had a YouTube channel and that we had reviewed some of their cookies. and so, But they were very, very nice. So regardless of whether I had told them we had a YouTube channel or not, they were they nice. They were nice before that. They all, <laughs> uh, right when we walked in the den, uh, right when we walked in the den, right when we walked in the store they all said they're yeah, welcome uh, to crumble or, or something like something that like they that. said hello to us so which yeah, one, like everybody in the store even the ones scooping cookies in the back everyone said hello not just the people up yeah. front yeah everybody i think we should try the kentucky butter cake first is that the one that it's doesn't huge. have the frosting yes it is huge it is a yellow butter cake cookie dripping in a melt in your mouth buttery glaze and I don't know that uh, showing you this in the box does it justice because it is massive. The powdered sugar is blowing on our air, in our air conditioning. It is absolutely a massive cookie. So, and it is a soft. So, we have reviewed crumble cookies. Is it warm? Yes. However, <laughs> We've never had one where it says it's served warm. We've never had one warmed because we've never had it fresh. Mm. When it says served chilled, we've never had one chilled. Um, so. Go like that. It's really good. <laughs> that is awesome. Mm -hmm. That tastes like a chess, uh, not a, a brownie, a, um, a blondie. Mm. It tastes like a, a a really thick. You're insulting that brown uh, that cookie. That's better than a blondie. It's better. <laughs> it tastes like. It all, it's almost like a soft shortbread. Mm-hmm. 
very buttery, very rich in flavor. Um, it's just excellent. <laughs> I mean, there's there's nothing else you can say about it. It's just it, it, It's melts in your mouth wonderful. And it being slightly warm, they're not hot, but they're just slightly warm, and it makes it more gooey kind of I feel. think it would remind you, though, between a, it, yes, of course it's better, but if you took a chest pie and you took a blondie and you put them together, for people who have never had one of these, and you put them together, this would be the baby. See, but it would be a twice as good baby. You know those ooey gooey cakes? That's, That's what that kind of reminds me yeah, of. Yeah, like, yes, like, yes. If you've ever had an ooey gooey butter cake, that's it in a yeah, cookie form. Yeah, that's what That's a like. better it's, description. It's, yes. it's wonderful. And but, it's very good it warmed up just, just slightly. So, for all my waffling, that is a much better description. No, that's good. Ooey gooey butter cake in a cookie. Okay. I could eat the whole thing. Next, we have a galaxy brownie. It is a rich brownie cookie covered in a warm fudge glaze and topped off with intergalactic mm -hmm. rainbow candy bits. If you look at it, that's the same um, things they have. Is it a Hostess or a Little Debbie? One of them has a Galaxy Little Debbie brownie. has the Galaxy. That's the Galaxy oh. Brownie. Oh. Because it even has the same chips on it. If I had realized, I could have ordered an extra one for uh, Gavin. Gavin. Oh, oh got the six goodness. pack. Yeah, it looks pretty gooey. It is a very gooey. Like, it's very, very gooey. Okay. And they're thick. Too. Yes. How thick that is. And I'm <laughs> Did you stuff that whole thing in your mouth? Mm. That's better than a little big brownie. Oh, that's yeah. Ten little, times better than a brownie. Little Debbie can't compete. I mean, please. Um, it's a little dark. Let me get you a napkin. Um, it's a little dark. Mm. Uh, but it's um. It's got a really good chocolate flavor. Thank you. It it has a wonderful dark. It's it's like a um, it's like a brownie that's just come out of the oven, mm -hmm. and you didn't bake it too long, so there's no there's no crispy, no crisp edges. No, there's no crisp edges, and I know some people like those crisp edges. I mean, the edges are a little firmer than the middle, but, but it's, it's not, not crispy. Crisp. No, right. It is an ooey gooey. It's like a just underdone brownie. Yeah, like you took it out like two minutes too early. Yeah, and it is a little warm. Yeah, and it, like I said, it does have a little bitterness to it, which I'm okay with, but but it does have some. So if you don't like any bitter at all, you probably wouldn't want to get up. The next one is a uh, sugar cookie featuring Twix. Yeah. A buttery sugar cookie base filled with chopped Twix. It's filled with chopped Twix and topped with a gooey layer of caramel, a chili layer of sweet milk chocolate, and a real mini Twix. They said that they sometimes they, they have sugar, just sugar cookies. This is the replacement for the sugar cookie this week. Yeah, I mean. Look at that caramel. Oh my gosh. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to break that. It's because soft, it's, it's, it's chilled. Crispy, yeah. Yeah, it's chilled. We won't be able to break the Twix, just no. break the cookie. Okay, because it is, um, it's very firm. Oh, because, that caramel looks wonderful. Okay, look. Look what I'm doing here. Yeah. You don't have to give me the Twix. I'm fine with just the caramel. I know what a Twix tastes like. I won't okay. be able to shove this whole thing in my mouth. Uh, no, because it is firm. Okay. You just can't talk. No. You know, for all the caramel it has on top of that, caramel's not what I would say. Ooh, that's a good caramel cookie. Mm-hmm. It, it is very, very over-the-top sweet. Mm -hmm. I think it's hard to compete, at least for me, texturally, with the warm I would rather have warm, ooey gooey than cold. Yeah. Um, I do like that caramel though. I like the texture. I still don't get a lot of flavor from it though. I like it too. It's not syrupy sweet. You mm -hmm. would think that it's going to be over the top sweet. No. It's not over the top sweet. Mm -hmm. It does kind of remind you of a Twix a little bit. Yes. You get a, a, a sugar cream. Yeah, I do think it reminds me of a Twix. But 
for me, I prefer the, the warm. warm, ooey gooey. But if you don't mind having a cold, uh, cold cookie, mm -hmm. then it is nice. Yeah. And it, the, like I said, the caramel's really good because it's thick and kind of chewy when you're eating it. It's really good. The Snickerdoodle Cupcake is a cinnamon sugar cookie topped with fluffy vanilla cream cheese frosting and a light cinnamon sugar dusting. It looks really good too. And massive. Huge. And I don't even know how I'm gonna... Is it squishy? Break yeah. it from the bottom. Oh, that was smart. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. I pretty much like anything with, with uh, buttercream and cinnamon. They had a churro one out not that long ago. I wonder cinnamon. how this compares to the churro, what the difference is. I absolutely love that. Mm -hmm. The texture of that is unbelievable. That is like the ultimate sugar cookie texture. Yeah, with the, in the cinnamon goes really good and I love the um, the cream cheese frosting adds a lot to it in the cinnamon is not it is exactly what you think of when you think of snickerdoodle oh yeah because it's not a in your face really really strong cinnamon it's just a dusting of cinnamon mm -hmm. so it's not over powerful but and for me, what sells that is the texture, 100%. The texture and the frosting. The frosting, that, that cream cheese frosting really sells it for me. Absolutely decadent. This last Here, one is, um, oh, are you sure? Because that's kind of heavy. I got a tray. I don't have to. This last that. one is the uh, pineapple whip, a chilled pineapple sugar cookie with a swirl of thick pineapple flavored whip topping. And it looks wonderful. So we have another chilled one. And Kevin and I really, really love pineapple. And, and like the Dole Whips and... Oh, yes. That frosting looks wonderful. I know. <laughs> it's kind of gooey. You just... And if you're eating here, if you're eating one of these, you just can't think of calories. Oh, no. My friend Eric, the last time we reviewed some crumble cookies, he commented on the calories. <laughs> I don't know how he found out. I don't know if they're on their website or what. I'll have to I'll have to go to their website. Right now, I'm happy and oblivious. Yeah, we don't want to know. Mmm. That's really good. Yes, it's very refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's lighter than That's the other ones. That's a good word ones. for it. It's, it's very fresh. It's very... Um, yes. Yeah, you get that burst of like that... A sweet tart pineapple mm -hmm. um, and the cookie is just like it just tastes like a regular sugar cookie but it truly does it's still really good though remind you of Dole Whip though it does it's like a really sweet pineapple frosting it's a something. creamy mm -hmm. there you go. it's a very creamy whipped uh, Dole Whip yeah it's thinner than like the buttercream or whatever the sour cream or cream cheese frosting on the Snickerdoodle, it was much thinner than that, so it was a little stickier and runnier. Okay. Well, all of them are good. I mean, truth be told, there's not one that's not worth eating. No, they're they're all absolutely I have, delicious. I have two favorites. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, two favorites. I mean, I could pick one if I wanted to, but really, it's, there's two that I really like. Okay. If you only, you literally only have money for one, though. It would be this, uh, the... The Kentucky the Butter The ooey one. <laughs> it really is. You know, I kept saying chess and whatever. It really is like an ooey gooey. Um, uh, that's probably my favorite, but it's very, very closely followed by the... The, the, the Snickerdoodle. The Snickerdoodle. I mean, they're right there with each other. Um, I'm going to say uh, the Kentucky Butter Cake is my favorite as well. Uh, if you've never had it, I don't know how often these flavors come out, how often they rotate. I don't know. Like, once Kentucky Butter Cake... You see it now. When is it going to come back? Is it going to be yeah, six it, months it like from a now? Six month rotation, a yeah. three month rotation. Is it once a year? Yeah. You know, we don't know. So, if those of you that have had a crumble around you for a while, you can inform us. Uh, but it's one that you don't want to miss. 
And so that would be my absolute favorite. And then I'm gonna, pick, gosh, I'm gonna pick the Snickerdoodle too. Yeah. Those, and those then my third's really gonna be the brownie. Um, my third would probably the yeah, cosmic brownie. Even though it is a little touch bitter for me, it's still. I mean, it's uh -huh. excellent. And, and then, then the, the, the pineapple. Then the pineapple. And, and then, then the, the last the, one's going to be the Snicker, Twix. The Twix one. Yeah, Twix. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest. The Twix is good, but it all it's. I, I've said it three times. It's all about texture for me. So because it is a cold. It's cold and it's firm. It doesn't give you that warm, you know, cozy feeling of, you know, you're just sinking your teeth into something warm because you can't sink your teeth into that. No, the dull, the dull one makes sense that it's cold because yes. pineapples, we like pineapple cold. The, the Twix one would have been nice if it, the caramel had been warm caramel. Right, and I guess they can't do that or it would be, be running everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. right. See, I, I didn't pick the Twix because I am, um, I didn't get a lot of flavor from the caramel, from, even though there's yeah. tons of it. Yeah. Um, I didn't, there's just not a lot of flavor there. Right, no, I agree. Yeah. But I do like being able to sink my teeth into something yeah. warm and ooey gooey. Well, these are really good. They're all really good. These cold. are even, very good. Even yes. the one we picked as last is still really good. Yes, <laughs> yes. And then they also had the classic chocolate chip cookie there as well, which we've already reviewed. Um, but if I were to go in and get another one right now, it would be that ooey gooey the or Kentucky, uh, Kentucky Kentucky butter. Yeah, uh, that's definitely. And I'm assuming they sell Kentucky butter butter cake everywhere. Like when they have a weekly flavor, is that every store has the same flavor? Oh, like even if you're in St. Louis, Missouri, do they have? Is it called Kentucky or is it called St. Louis? See, so you'll have to let us know uh, because yeah, you're right. Do they just replace the Ohio butter cookie? You know, whatever. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If we enjoyed you, eating them. If we enjoyed eating <laughs> them. If you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments that you liked it. Yeah, maybe and we'll do more of them. Yeah, we might be able to, to try to do more. If we know they're popular, then we can try to do, do more of these for you. So, uh, yeah, just let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.